Great message there. Let's check the pandemic. Scientists say Omicron cases could soon peak in the U.S. if they haven't already. A highly influential model from the University of Washington projects the peak will happen next Wednesday before cases then quickly fall. But scientists working on the model telling the Associated Press, however, the peak may have already happened sometime last week, but it's not reflected in the data since some cases have gone unconfirmed. And a new study is offering more evidence that Omicron is less severe than Delta. A study from Kaiser Permanente Southern California showing Omicron had a 53% reduction in symptomatic hospitalization compared to the Delta variant. Researchers also found Omicron had a 74% lower risk of intensive care admissions and a 91% lower risk of death compared to Delta. CDC Director Dr. Rochelle Walensky said the study remains consistent with information from other countries and should provide some sense of understanding of what is to come here in the U.S. Schools across the country will soon get more COVID tests after the White House announced it's dedicating 10 million COVID tests to grade schools. Five million of those will be rapid tests. The other half, the more accurate PCR tests. And the goal really is just to ease the supply shortage and help schools stay open as the cases rise. States can request the test now and they'll be available by the end of the month. In our school watch, the debate over mask mandates that is raging on as parents and community members in the spring school district 11 gathered at a school board meeting last night. About 30 people speaking to either urge the board to make database decisions and implement more mitigation measures. Well, others were commending the board for not implementing a mask mandate. No more masking our children. We will not stand for it, period. It is mentally and physically harming every single student in this district. Parents in D11 support a mask mandate because it's what's healthy and safest to keep our kids in school, to keep our teachers safe. School board members say the decisions over mask mandates do come from Superintendent Dr. Michael Thomas and his executive team and it was not discussed for the spring semester. All right, time to swing it over to meteorologist Sam Schreier.